Hey you guys, it's me Laura with scrapsofencouragement.com and today I'm here with you for a little bit of a different card making video. So I decided that I want to start a series where I go through the Bible and take a verse at a time or a chapter at a time or whatever happens to strike me as I'm reading my way through the Bible and I am going to make more of an artistic card for each of those verses and share them with you along with a little bit of a devotional that goes with it over on my blog and I'm starting in the book of Genesis and working my way through so today's verse comes from the creation account and when God created light so immediately I thought of a firefly and the light that it sends and so I'm creating this scene with a moon and a firefly and some grass and I'm especially paying attention to the light and trying to make sure that in this in this painting I'm going to be using watercolors that you really see the glowing of the moon and the glowing of the firefly and that's really the essence that I wanted to capture to start out, I have my piece of four and an eighth by five and three eighth inch watercolor paper. And I've hand drawn all the images that I'm going to be painting onto some post-it paper. I'm gonna mask these areas off so that I can create a night sky background. And I just traced a round container I had for the moon and made some simple lines for my grass. And for my firefly, I looked up a bunch of pictures on Google and just kind of took an essence of what I saw there. And I wasn't going for realism here. I just wanted to kind of get the idea of firefly. And so I drew those on the post-it note paper and fussy cut them out. As I was cutting this guy out, I realized that I had forgotten to make his abdomen a little bit bigger than what I actually want his abdomen to be. And I know that might sound silly right now and it'll make sense later, but I wanted to leave a little extra white space on the outside so that I could make more of a glow effect. I'm gonna kind of play with these pieces and get the placement where I like them and stick them down so that all of these areas remain white when I'm inking my background. I'm gonna be going back in and painting these in as well, but I am going to be sponging a night sky background on here. So as I'm creating today, I'll be talking to you a little bit, but I'm also going to leave plenty of time for the music to play in the background and just kind of let you relax and enjoy while I paint and work on this project. Now that I have all of my masks down, I'm going to get some Knight of Navy ink and I'm going to get a sponge and I am just sponging up the background. I'm particularly trying to make sure that I'm paying attention to the light because that's such a big part of this painting. So I'm very lightly inking around the areas that I want there to be more light and then I'm going to come back in and sponge over and over again where I want the darker, darker areas. I'm not going for a real even coat here because I do want there to be special attention to the light. I want you to see what's being lit up in the night by the light of the firefly and the light of the moon. Um, light is really the focus of this card. So you can see how I'm kind of varying things a lot. And the key when you're inking a background like this, especially on a thick paper like watercolor, is just take your time and keep adding layers. Um, you'll want to go in with a soft hand or else you're going to get a lot of streaky lines and you don't want that. So just keep going over and over and over the areas that you want to make darker and it will build up. It might take more time than you think it should but it will build up and it will look much better as you keep going. I'm also trying to add darker tones underneath the grass where I feel like the light wouldn't hit as well and then it's always so fun this part where you take off your mask and you see the white that's left behind and I don't know I always find this part very exciting when I'm masking and I'm not sure why but it is exciting so now I'm going to take a couple micron pens and I'm going to add the line work where I had these images masked off
Now is my favorite part where I get to do some painting and I am just using my Stampin' Up! ink pads for my watercolor today. I'm using Pineapple Punch Cra Cajun Craze Crushed Curry, a basic black watercolor pencil, and then my Soft Suede Stampin' Write marker. I'm painting with my Aqua Painter and I'm putting a little line of water down the middle of my Firefly where I want the highlight to be on his body. So I'm going to mash my ink pad into the cover and that way I'll have some of the ink on the cover that I can use as kind of a palette. I'm going to drop a little bit of water there with my water brush and get that to the right consistency so that I can go ahead and paint the highlight on my Firefly. Then I'm going to go ahead and work on his body with some Cajun craze and kind of let those colors run together a little bit while at the same time preserving my highlight in the middle there. I really wanted to make his abdomen look like it was glowing. So I went ahead and I put some water over all the areas that I felt would be glowing. And I also took some water around the edge where the glow that I have there meets the night sky. And I took a clean cloth and kind of lifted up some of that color to make the edges a little bit more fuzzy. And I added water all to it. And then I went and brought my paint in and I left a little bit of white highlight there. But my hope was that having this extra white space and doing that color lifting would give it a little bit more of a glowing appearance. I also went in and did some color lifting for the glow effect also around the moon. Now hindsight, I really should have done all of this color lifting right after I removed my mask while the ink was still a little bit wet on my paper but I just did not think of it until it was later, so I kind of struggled with getting the ink to lift, but I still feel like it gave it more of a glowing effect than it would have if I had just left it a flat line. Next, I'm gonna start working on my grass, and I have two colors of green ink that I'm using. I'm gonna be using Granny Apple Green for my lighter color and Mossy Meadow for my darker color, and I am gonna start by just painting the all of the grass with the granny apple green. I didn't quite get it watered down enough at first. It was a little bit dark. I'm going to come back over that later with my mossy meadow where I want it to be a little bit darker. When I'm doing this whole card, I'm always going to start with my lighter colors and then go back in and add my shadows later. And then at the very end, you'll see that I use a white gel pen to add any additional white highlights. While I'm letting that first light layer of green on my grass dry, I'm going to go ahead and work on the rest of my firefly. Now, I wanted some black in the middle of his body there, but I don't have any black ink that I can paint with. So I'm using my Stampin' Write marker, and because I wanted it to be darker, I went ahead and added just a little bit of water on my paper. So when I come in, it's going to give me a little bit of a darker look, and I specifically wanted to keep that highlight in the middle again so I mostly put my color on the outside on near the line and then I used my water brush to kind of pull that color into the middle a little bit so that it gave me a little bit of color variation there. Next, I went ahead and grabbed my Stampin' Write marker to add the details to the wings. And really, this is just a matter of drawing lines with little lines off them. And this gives the Firefly's wings a little bit more detail and definition. And I am pulled, you can see here, I have another card that I did. I actually created this card before, but I forgot to press record. And I thought of scrapping it, but I thought, no, no, I'm going to go ahead and finish it. So I pulled the one that I did earlier. I liked the way those wings turned out. So I'm just kind of following what I had done earlier for this one. And it really is just making little lines all the way across and then pulling other lines off of it toward the outside of the wing. Now that my grass has had a chance to dry, I'm going to come back in with my darker values of green and paint in my shadows to give the grass a little bit more life.
I'm going to add a few more little touches by drawing in some taller, skinnier lines of grass. I'm also going to splatter some water all over the background, and I'm going to use my clean rag to lift up those spots to give kind of a starry effect and add a little bit more light again to my painting. I'm going to use my Wink of Stella shimmer pin on the wings to give them just a little bit of shimmer and shine. Now it was time to add a sentiment. I'm actually using a Christmas stamp set called God's Peace and I'm using the sentiment sending love and light your way. I felt like this was perfect for this card, especially as I look at light in the Bible and how much a representation light really is of God's love for us. So on my first card, I directly heat emboss the sentiment onto the card base using my stamparatus to make sure on watercolor you always want to use a stamping tool if you're trying to stamp on watercolor paper because it can be difficult to stamp. But for this card, I made my firefly bigger and there wasn't enough room. I also made my moon bigger and there just wasn't enough room to stamp. So I decided to go ahead and heat emboss the sentiment onto a black piece of cardstock. And I trimmed that down and fishtailed the ends so that I could put it as a banner on my card. Now all that's left for today's card is mounting it on my card base and adding a few little extra highlights with my white gel pen, and that is all. I really enjoyed making this card and I'm looking forward to challenging myself to do one of these every month just going through the Bible and of course it'll take me years and years and years to get through this and it'll be fun to watch as my skills progress and I'm really looking forward to just taking the time to use art as a way to draw closer to God. And each month when I post these, I will also be posting a blog post with more of a devotional feel to it, as, long, as well as some additional verses and just sharing a little bit about what I'm learning from God's Word. I would love to hear what you guys think about this series, and I'd love your feedback as I'm still kind of working on the format. It'll probably take me a little bit to get it down as it's a bit different from my other videos. But I'm super excited to see all the cards that come from this, and I'm excited to have that opportunity to be a little creative in my time with God. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions, please leave them below, and you can visit my blog, scrapsofencouragement.com, for this and more card-making ideas. And I hope that you guys find joy in creating as you spread kindness and encouragement with your scraps of paper. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.